darker lens. Lauer was fired from his post at NBC in November 2017 after 20 years with the network. Given these awkward, cringeworthy segments, it now seems surprising that his career survived for so long. Madonna when Lauer sat down with Madonna in 2003 for Dateline, he began by asking her about an editorial in the New York Times that essentially declared her too old to be relevant. She wasn't amused, arguing that artists shouldn't need to fall into a certain age group in order to have worth in the business. It's, it's, just, it's just disrespectful and, and, and it's absurd. He followed by asking her if she feels threatened by younger pop stars Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera. Would you like those 17-year-olds to buy your records? I would. I mean, you know you're why? the age of their parents. Lauer then pushed the queen of pop to explain why she was still famous compared to other artists with the same amount of talent. You started in this business with people that we don't talk about anymore. Why are we still talking about you? I don't know. Go ask them. It's safe to say that after this segment, Madonna probably started tuning into Good Morning America instead of Today. Sandra Bullock Oscar winner Sandra Bullock appeared on Today in 2009 to promote The Proposal, in which she has a particularly amusing scene, without clothes, with co-star Ryan Reynolds. The major thing that's okay. changed since you were here last? Yes. I have now seen you naked. <laughs> <laughs> and throughout the interview, he couldn't seem to let it go, joking that the scene was his new screensaver. You're Wanna naked for most of this movie. I am so <laughs> It's a no, long stretch. I'm not. I'm not naked for most of this. For Emotionally a... naked. And towards the end, he, of course, brought it up again. Did Thank I mention you. you have a nude scene in this it's movie? Pretty much from the time you opened from your the mouth. Time? Yeah. Sandra yeah. Bullock, come back more often. No, not after this interview. <laughs> Vince Gill's daughter. During an appearance on Watch What Happens Live in January 2014, Lauer admitted that he'd been ogling country singer Vince Gill's daughter, who performed as Amy Grant's backup singer on Today. And I kind of went up behind him and I said, I know, are those things real? And he turned to me and said, they better be real, that's my daughter. <gasps> Anne Hathaway In December 2012, Anne Hathaway was photographed having a wardrobe malfunction while exiting a car at the Les Miserables premiere. When she appeared on Today the same week to promote the movie, Lauer was less than kind, though she remained composed and classy. Nice to see you. Good morning, Matt. Seen a lot of you lately. <laughs> Sorry uh, about that. You were. <laughs> I, I, I'd be happy to stay home, but uh, the film. <laughs> Lauer kept going, asking if she learned a lesson. The Oscar winner calmly responded that it was an unfortunate incident that made her sad. I was very sad that we live in an age when someone takes a picture of another person in a vulnerable moment and rather than delete it and do the decent thing, sells it. Miley Cyrus. In 2013, during Miley Cyrus's twerking phase, she appeared on Today, and Lauer asked her about her provocative MTV Video Music Awards performance. This is the sexual side of you that we're seeing a lot of right now, something that's going to be here for a while. Cyrus asked back that it would perhaps be when she turns 40, since she heard that's when people lose their drive in the bedroom. Don't say Probably that. Do you know how old I am? I'm going to guess 40. <laughs> you don't I love you again. <laughs> Pippa Middleton. When interviewing Pippa Middleton in June 2014 following the royal wedding for her sister, Kate Middleton, and brother-in-law, Prince William, Lauer steered the conversation toward Pippa's clothing choice for the big event. For lack of a better way to explain it, the way your dress fit. Pippa said the attention was a little embarrassing and that her dress was meant to be almost insignificant. GM CEO Mary Barra in 2014, Lauer faced criticism following an interview with General Motors CEO Mary Barra, in which he asked her, There are some people who are speculating that you also got this job as a woman and as a mom. You could present a softer image and softer face as this company goes through this horrible episode. Well, it's absolutely not true. Um, I, you know, I believe I was selected for this job based on my qualifications. Lauer later asked if she could handle the pressures of the new job on top of being a mom. You know, I think I can. Pot and Kettle in September 2017, in what now looks like a case of the pot calling the kettle black, Lauer interviewed Fox News personality Bill O'Reilly, who'd been fired due to harassment allegations. Did you ever send a lewd text or email to another employee at Fox News? No. Like Lauer, O'Reilly claimed to have had no human resources complaints brought against him ahead of his firing, calling the termination a, quote, political and financial hit job. And so why we didn't you aware. sue those women if you say you because did absolutely you can't nothing win. wrong? Not long after this interview, Lauer would face his own public scrutiny after being accused of harassment himself. Thanks for watching.